for many people, finding ways to juggle work, study, family responsibilities, a social life and hobbies is a challenge. But how much harder might it be if you also had to spend hours of every day trekking on foot to collect fresh water for drinking, cooking and washing? What parts of your life would you have to sacrifice to keep yourself and your family safe and healthy? For a significant portion of the global population, this isn't a theoretical scenario, this is their reality. Even for those who do have access to clean water and transportation, ageing and degraded infrastructure exists in all corners of the globe, even in areas that have experienced significant economic growth and development in the past few decades. If we promote the development of resilient infrastructure and sustainable industrialisation, we can increase our efficiency of resource use and adopt cleaner and more environmentally friendly technologies. By doing this, we can also boost economic growth and societal progress. Hi, I'm Sarah Grundy. I am a lecturer and an education-focused academic at the School of Chemical Engineering. SDG 9 can be summed up as build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialisation and foster innovation. This may seem like a simple statement. We should improve our existing infrastructure to develop sustainable industrialisation and foster innovation. In reality, these steps form part of a cycle. A business requires existing infrastructure to operate. Businesses rely on materials, labour and services as well as innovation in order to survive and thrive. We can say that innovation leads to improvements in infrastructure, just as we can say existing infrastructure is required for innovation to take place, as ultimately both are true. To achieve this SDG, we need an industry-wide shift in the mindset of all businesses to pursue and implement absolute sustainable technologies. However, there must be existing infrastructure in place for this process to occur. If you had to struggle daily to feed and clothe yourself and your family, would you even have the time and energy to care about sustainability of clothing manufacture or the degradation of arable land? Currently, more than half of the world's population is online and almost the entire world population lives in an area covered by a mobile network. This is an impressive achievement. However, real infrastructure improvements such as quality water and electricity systems Effective road networks and advancements in the manufacturing sector are required to enable sustainable and resilient innovation and further infrastructure development, particular in underdeveloped countries. Supporting this process is an international objective. A UNSW initiative led by students, Impact Engineers, has recently assisted in the installation of a reverse osmosis water treatment plant in the village of Gawadugama, Sri Lanka. The plant delivers more than 10,000 litres of clean water to 600 families per day, creating jobs and generating income to assist in education programs. While this is a small example of infrastructure improving the progress of community, the same is true on a global scale. Improving living standards and providing education is the first step to sustainable industrialisation. In this way, SDG 9 relates to multiple sustainable development goals Improvements in innovation and technological progress can exist in addressing environmental challenges SDG 13. For example, development of renewable energy technologies and replacement of fossil fuels will significantly reduce our carbon dioxide emissions and their impact on global warming. Investment in scientific research and innovation can exist with numerous goals such as SDG 3, SDG 6, SDG 7, and SDG 11. Innovation in the medical industry has the potential to reduce hundreds of thousands of deaths annually. Furthermore, improvements and development in the manufacturing sector, particularly in developing countries, can exist with goals including SDG 1, SDG 8 and SDG 10. As you can see, working towards SDG 9 by promoting sustainable industries, investing in infrastructure and fostering research and innovation that will enable sustainable development will have significant and far-reaching benefits. This change can start with you. You don't need to be in science or engineering field. No matter what degree you are pursuing or what field you work in, by promoting sustainable solutions and assisting in the development of reliable and resilient infrastructure, 
we can all contribute to achieving Sustainable Development Goal 9. In fact, the power of individual actions goes beyond what you can achieve within your own employment. As a consumer, your support of innovative solutions and sustainable products is incredibly valuable. Money Talks. We have the power to encourage businesses to uptake these principles simply by choosing what products and services we purchase. From selecting sustainably sourced groceries to purchasing an electric vehicle, the collective power of consumers cannot be ignored. Of course, in taking a more active role, you can achieve even more. Get involved in your own community as a start. Advocating for improvements in public institutions such as schools, hospitals and libraries or lobbying for transport options such as cycling networks or public transport are all small acts that can significantly improve your community. Doing your part to ensure that local infrastructure developments are sustainable and inclusive is a valuable first step that you can take.